Hello everyone, I've got a packet of bok choy seeds and I'm ready to start planting. I decided I might as well do a little experiment while I'm at it, so I got some cotton balls and some rock wool and gave them a good dunk in water until they were saturated. I'm still experimenting with using cotton balls as a substitute for rock wool, and so far it's been working out nicely. These are small seeds about the same size as broccoli seeds. Oops! Okay, so now I have the saturated cotton balls and rock wool all lined up, and I placed one seed in each rock wool cube and one seed on each cotton ball. Then I slid the container into a plastic bag to help keep in the humidity and left them alone to do their thing. Today is the very next day, let's call this day two if yesterday was day one, and as you can see something is going on with the seeds. They are doing something. Okay, now it's day three and the seed on one of the cotton balls didn't look like it was going to do anything, so I put another seed there. That's why you see two seeds on this cotton ball. Okay, let's see what happens. Now it's day six and you can see the bok choy seeds have sprouted and they all look good except for this one. I even added another seed to it, but that seed's not germinating either. Could it be the cotton ball? All right, fast forward to day 12, and it's strange, but this one cotton ball is still not letting the seeds germinate. All the others are doing fine. So I've got three that are doing well on the cotton balls, and then four in the Rockwell cubes. It's day 15 now, and it's time to transplant these. And I decided to transplant these into small solo cups. Usually I transplant these into mason jars that hold much more water, but I wanted to try a smaller container as an experiment to see if this would work. As it turned out, this is not a great idea. Bigger really is better. And so if you're planting bok choy using the cracky method, then get them into mason jars. The 32 ounce jar is really the best. But let's see what happens here when I use these smaller containers. Remember, this is an experiment to see what will happen. So I set up seven small cups, and I have these three inch net cups that fit nicely into each of the solo cups. Then I filled each cup with hydroponic nutrient solution until just above the bottom of the net cup so that the rock wool or cotton balls would stay wet until they grew enough roots to reach down and get the water for themselves. The hydroponic solution I use is the Grow Big from Fox Farms. It's easy to mix, just two teaspoons into a gallon of water and shake. That's it. I find that it works nicely for my leafy greens and herbs. For fruiting plants like tomatoes, I use the Master Blend formula. Once all the cups were filled with the hydroponic solution, I put a handful of hydroponic clay pebbles into each of the net cups. First a layer on the bottom, then the bok choy, and then some more pebbles all around the plant. The clay pebbles retain moisture and help hold up the plant, and they also block out the white so that the algae doesn't grow down into the water below. And so the pebbles serve multi-purposes, and I think they look nice too. Okay, the bok choy is all transplanted into these little cups, and the $64,000 question is, can they survive and even thrive in these small cups, or do they need to go into bigger containers? What do you think? All right, it's day 18 and three days since I transplanted the bok choy into these cups. They are all doing fine and no roots coming out from the bottom yet. Now it's day 22 and I don't see much of a difference between the cotton balls those are the three in the back, and the seeds germinated in rock wool, and it looks like there are some roots coming out from the bottom. And now we're at day 27, 27 days since I started these from seeds, and as you can see, they are growing nicely, and there are some nice roots coming out from the bottom. I could have actually harvested some of the leaves at this point. They're perfectly edible, and they're very tender tasting at this stage. Okay, now you can see the trouble these plants are in. It's day 35, and the plants are really stressed out in these small containers. I could have or should have harvested them when they were baby greens, but I wanted to grow these to maturity, 
and I have no choice but to move them into bigger containers at this point. I'm going to trim off the yellow leaves and let's see if these plants can be rescued. You can see I have eight wide mouth mason jars lined up ready to receive their guests. These are 32 ounce containers, so there is more room for the roots. I filled them all with hydroponic water and the plants were settled into their new homes. Here's a cup full of the leaves I took off. It's a shame, but they can't be salvaged. A few days earlier and they could have been good to eat. Oh well. Here they are, the seven bok choy plants in their new home, which is where I should have put them in the first place. But they look happy now and hopefully they'll stay happy until I eat them. It's day 50 now and according to the packet these should mature in 45 to 50 days but these don't look too mature to me. I probably stunted its growth from the beginning with the smaller cups. Here's one last look at the bok choy. They usually grow quite nicely using the cracky method. Just give them the room they need to grow from the beginning. They're also good to grow as microgreens. They have a nice crisp texture and a mild taste as a microgreen. You can eat these raw or cook them in a stir fry. Either way, they're good and good for you. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Bye.